Hey there, Mike Pritchett here from Shootster. I've been asked to create a video around how to create a compelling video. Tough ask. Well, the first thing I'd say is don't create a compelling video. Create a series of videos. So what is a series of videos? In your space, I'm sure you can think of the uh, similar sort of relatively easy space that you can work in, bringing these experts in, interviewing them at the bar, on a bus stop, wherever you wanna do it. Make it easy, make it casual, keep it authentic. So, that's the next thing, authenticity. Authenticity is key. You noticed I stumbled over my words earlier on. I didn't stop, I didn't cut and go, oh, we have to do this again, it has to be over polished. People stumble, there's nothing wrong with stumbling over your words, keeping things a little bit more authentic and a little bit more relaxed. In fact, people will engage with you more if you're real. So, does authenticity mean crap? No, it doesn't. Keeping the quality high is important. I believe that your brand, your, your image recognition personally, as an individual, as an entrepreneur, is extremely important. So making sure that that's represented in the kind of content you're creating. However, the next step is don't be overproduced. So what do I mean by don't be overproduced? Don't, first of all, please, please don't come up with a, a $100,000, $200,000 idea and try and do it on a $5,000 budget. That is going to look rubbish no matter what you do. But at the same time, if you've got a $500 idea, you don't have to go and spend $5,000 getting everything set up to shoot at a higher level than what you need. The iPhone, in fact, is actually very good at shooting content. The key is understanding a little bit about framing, shot composition, lighting. The key, though, is to make sure that you know what you're doing and keep it very, very simple, raw, and real. There's a lot of great examples out there about engaging content that keep it very authentic and very real. So how do you make your content engaging? Well, the next step is keep it niche. The reality is we're not all interested in the same thing. That's a pretty obvious thing to say, but so many people seem to miss that point. They make one piece of content and they roll it out to the world. What you want to do is create a lot of content and keep it very, very niche. If I'm speaking to you here on Entrepreneur, I'm not going to be speaking about things that are only relevant to a marketing manager at a large corporation, because that's a different space. If I'm creating a video for them, it will be very specific, even down to the point where I'm based in Singapore right now, I will create a piece of content for marketing managers in Singapore around what to do marketing B2B or maybe it's B2C, which would be a separate video in Singapore or in Hong Kong or when I'm in the US, in San Diego, or in San Francisco. This is the kind of content you want to be creating, very, very specific niche content. You can roll that out on LinkedIn as well with targeted ads, but get targeted. There's so many tips and tricks to get targeted these days. So a few other quick little tips and tricks. Learn framing, shot composition and lighting. I've covered that off. Have a cutaway in the first 30 seconds. This is very important. Make sure that your audience can see what you're doing and it's engaged by knowing that something else is going to be on and it's not just you. However, start with you. You are the star of this video. If you are, if you are engaging with your audience and creating ongoing series-based content, on social, they will connect with you. So make sure it's you that starts off. A lot of people try and have high-end expensive intros. Long-winded intros don't work. Keep it very, very simple, very, very easy and straightforward and authentic. 